Installing and Using Layers in Google Earth. The United States Holocaust Memorial Museum offers a wonderful KMZ file available to explore the crisis in Darfur. By going to the Holocaust M Museum's website, you can go to the Mapping Initiative and find the file Crisis in Darfur. Click on it to download. You will save it to the desktop or your location and to install in Google Earth, open Google Earth, go to File, Open and select the file from your browse list. When you select the file, click Open and it will install a set of files in the Places palette uh, which can then be clicked on and off as needed to view the content. You'll notice that there is now a, a set of icons on the Google Earth map that can be clicked on in order to receive additional rich multimedia content. The various icons within the layer provides additional multimedia content. For example, here's a legend that describes what each icon does. Clicking on the icons provides information about the villages uh, that have been destroyed or damaged within Darfur. And there's also a layer of photographic content which tells the story of the people of Darfur. Visit this site at ushmm.org. Another way to add content in Google Earth is to click the Add Content button. Clicking the button brings you to the Google website. And therein, you'll see a list of different projects that have been created using KML and KMZ files on a variety of different topics. Um, I'm going to select the World Population Density KMZ file. Do again, download it to the desktop. Within Google Earth, open the file. Browse to find it. And it installs the KMZ file. In this case, it's a tile over the entire planet showing the population densities in color. The uh, darkest red colors are the th most dense, po densely populated areas, and the lighter shades of yellow are less densely populated. When we click upon the layer, now you'll see the relative population density of different areas of the globe. Let's compare the population density of the United States, which is relatively not densely populated as indicated by the lighter colors, uh, compared to the population densities of India and China, which you see are very heavily densely populated uh, as indicated by the darker colors. Bangladesh here is very densely populated.